What's up guys, today we're going to be going over the new Sniper Trophy Hunter, which comes with Vorpal Weapon. And you can farm this Sniper from the Tower Obelisk now, once you talk to Saint-14 and do the quest to unlock it. And this comes with a pretty good guy roll of Triple Tap, a Pin and Mag, then also Backup Mag or Boss Spec as we'll be testing in this video. And we'll be comparing this to Soul Survivor, which is currently the best energy sniper in the game. So first looking at 72 RPM snipers on Greg, they hit 20,638. Now with Vorpal Weapon on Trophy Hunter, it now hits 23,733. And that's going to be the exact same 15% increase which it does on primary weapons also. Now we can also pair that with a boss spec which takes it to 25,577 which is going to be exactly 7.7% increase with boss spec. Now looking at the two different rate of fires first with boss spec on it which means it's going to be a 4 magazine with triple tap means you can shoot 5 times straight taking 3.3 seconds. I mean the DPS over 1 magazine would be 38,753 which is actually not too bad for a special weapon up there with the best. And then if we go ahead and swap over to a backup mag and take the magazine to 5. That means we can now shoot 7 straight, which will take a bit longer, at roughly 4.983 seconds, meaning DPS over 1 magazine is 33,340, which drops off quite a bit. We're missing out on that 7.7% increase of boss spec. Now moving on to Soul Survivor with Fire and Line. First without the perk, it hits 18,558. Now with Fire and Line with 2 or more allies nearby, 22,827, which is still going to be exactly that 23% increase, which is going to be a higher percent buff than Vorpal Weapon. And I forgot to get a boss spec clip with Fire Line proct, but it would hit 24,602 because it's exactly 7.77 repeating percent higher. Once again, first testing the Red of Fire with boss spec on it, which takes it to a 5 magazine, which means we can then shoot 7 shots straight without reloading. It's going to take roughly 3.983 seconds, which means 43,237 DPS, which, like I said, the other sniper was among the best. Well, this is the best. Now we also test the rate of fire with backup mag on it which takes it to a 7 magazine which means we can shoot 10 shots straight without reloading. That's now going to take roughly 6.049 seconds which means the DPS with backup mag is 37,737 which once again dropped off quite a bit compared to boss spec. So comparing those numbers real quick with boss spec, the soul survivor was 11.6% better. Then with backup mag, the soul survivor was 13.2% better because of the fact that you can proc triple tap three times, which made backup mag more impactful on that weapon. Also looking at the total damage output, Trophy Hunter holds 17 ammo, which means with boss spec it's 434,000, which is pretty good. Now with soul survivor, it holds 20, which means the total damage output with boss spec would be just under 500,000, which is a little bit better than that of the Trophy Hunter. So overall, in every single stat, soul survivor is better than Trophy Hunter because of two reasons. One, 90 RPM sniper rifles are just generally a little bit better for DPS. Then also Fireline is a higher buff than that Warpal Weapons by 8%. So if you're ever in a fire team situation with at least two allies nearby, Fireline will always be better in every situation. But if you're playing solo, Vorpal Weapon is actually a very solid perk, and this sniper is definitely viable for those situations. So I've made all kinds of sniper videos on this channel, so I didn't want to break down like one magazine, two magazine, and all that other stuff in this video, because I've done that probably like three or four times, probably even more. So just explaining a few other things I didn't necessarily show off in this video. The Trophy Hunter with Vorpal Weapon would be better if you're playing solo than just using a 90 RPM sniper with no damage perk at all. So if you had these two snipers and you're playing solo, it would definitely be better to use the Vorpal one over the Fireline one if you don't actually have the ability to proc Fireline with whatever you're doing. So even though Soul Survivor is better in every situation, if you're playing solo, that doesn't necessarily matter if you're not proccing Fire and Line. And that's where the Trophy Hunter comes into play and will be better for that exact situation. Another good sniper if you're playing solo is going to be a 90 RPM with high impact reserves. Over the entire magazine, each bullet will do a little bit more damage than the previous. And on average, you're doing roughly like 15% over the entire magazine more damage than if you had no perk at all. So that is another good solo play perk. I also have another video that goes into great detail explaining when to use backup mag versus boss spec. Because in this video with the numbers I showed off, it seems pretty obvious to use boss spec all the time. But that's not necessarily true and it's actually very complicated. And I have a video talking about that in full detail, which I'll just link in the description below. Overall, I still think Vorpal Weapon needs a buff versus bosses. If it's a perk that only increases damage versus bosses compared to Fireline or High Impact Reserves that increases damage to any enemy in the game, you would think the boss one would be the best for bosses, but it's not. So I definitely think Vorpal Weapon needs to be at least like a 25-30% to 30 buff versus bosses, because it should be the best perk for bosses if that is the only place it increases your damage in PvE. Obviously, vehicles also, but that's not really relevant. Overall, it just doesn't make sense to me why a perk that says it increases damage versus bosses isn't the best perk versus bosses. It just, I don't get it. Anyways, in conclusion, Trophy Hunter with Vorpal Weapon is not better than Soul Survivor or Tranquility for that matter, but it will be a viable pick if you're playing solo and you cannot proc fire in line. Anyways, let me know what you think about this new sniper. 
Aimless Sniper is your favorite. Anyways, thanks for watching. Catch you guys next time.